Hello students. Today we are going to continue the numerical part of the third topic, and this I think this could be the last or second session or uh, no okay last and second session for numerical of fourth topic because I have, I cannot take more on numericals because I have to start the new topic also. I have to finish this level also. Okay. Okay, so let's read this uh, question from your screen, and we are going to uh, again. It is going to be the same uh, question bank. I'm going to solve. I hope you enjoy the class. Okay, so read the question from the screen. The question says, <clears throat> a ball is projected with velocity of a 20 meter per second. Full stop. After two seconds, its a vertical displacement is ten meter. Full stop. Calculate the angle of projection. Full stop. Given g is equal to ten meter per second square. Okay. So once again, into the question, a ball is projected with velocity of 20 meter per second so it is an initial velocity so that is you can say v naught or u is equal to 20 meter per second with this velocity the ball is projected after 2 seconds so the time they have given 2 2 seconds so it is not second second or it is not at the third second, it is not fourth second. So they are saying after say two second. So here we are not going to apply nth for sorry, here we are going to go and apply uh, okay nth time nth second formula. So don't confuse with that formula. Okay, and our topic is fourth topic, so it is vector related topic. And after two seconds, the displacement. Vertical displacement. So vertical means y that should be 10 meter. Why we cannot take h capital H? Because capital H is a maximum height. So they are not telling the saying that it is a maximum height. They are saying that the question reads that after two seconds, it is not a maximum, but after two seconds, the vertical displacement is 10 meter. So, so calculate the angle of projection. So theta should be calculated and given is a g acceleration due to gravity that is 10 meter per second. So, so I would like to make it clear here. If they have given the acceleration due to gravity 10, they will only take 10 meter per second square. Suppose if they give up, if they give 9.8 meter per second square, then do not make 10 because Whatever they give the acceleration due to gravity, take that only. Do not make your own uh, adjustment. Because that calculation is a prepared by that by using that theory only. But by that using the same value. Understood? If they haven't given the 10 meter per second square acceleration due to gravity, then don't take 10, take 9.8. If they haven't mentioned the acceleration due to gravity, that is 10 meter per second square, then do not take 10. Whatever they mention, then only take that value. If they don't mention, use only one value, 9.8 meter per second square. Understood? Okay. Move on to the next question. Yes, sorry. Uh, so what is what we have to find here? Angle of projection. To find angle of projection, we have the few basic formulas. For maximum height, v square sine square theta divided by 2g. This is one formula where we can find the angle of projection theta. So time for flight, that is 2 v naught sine theta divided by g. So this is second formula where we can find theta. And uh, range of a projectile, that is v naught square sine 2 theta divided by g. So here also we can find the theta. But according to given data, given values, can we find theta from this three equation? No. So we cannot use this. Why? Theta. If you put theta value, sorry, if you want to find the theta 
you must know maximum height. So we cannot find. We must know time of flight. We don't know. We must know R. So to find this HRT, we must have theta. And here what they ask to find theta. So we cannot use this formula. So let's use then which formula we can use here. So the formula we can use, the formula we can use is the basic kinetic equations. Which equations? Basics. Which are those? Yes is equal to ut plus half to the square and v square minus u square is equal to 2 as and v is equal to u u plus a so this one so among these which one we have to pick up again we cannot use directly why well, let's see so can we use this yes can we use this no because time is not there can we use here no there is no dis displacement so only one formula which we can use how that's so this is a kinetic equation we have to convert it into vector form and we have write in the form of vertical component or vertical displacement way. I have explained this in a theoretical part. How oh, let's see. So to write this formula in the vertical displacement form, form why not horizontal? Why not x along, along x axis? Because vertical displacement given that is y. So just write on y equal to u initial velocity they have given but we cannot use that why I will explain but just write for this moment uh, u uh, u sin theta into t because there is no particular and horizontal component of x component of y component for time because time is scalar point. plus plus half it is square. So acceleration is vertical. Along vertical that is a y and along vertical the direction is upward direction so gravity is taken negative. So this formula becomes minus half g t square. Now we understood instead of acceleration acceleration due to gravity we are using from the earth that is g and it is over. negative y because the body is moving up gravity is down so opposite direction negative but why we are using u sin theta initial instead of initial velocity u we are using u sin theta why because the ball is projected with a particular angle with what horizontal with this horizontal the ball is projected with this initial velocity 20 meter per second so it is making an angle so we what we have to take its parts we have to consider its components so vertical component of this sorry along y axis component is u sin theta and horizontal uh, along x axis component u cos theta so we are not using the horizontal component we are using vertical component so vertical component of initial velocity u sin theta into t minus half g t square so put these values uh, so put these values in this equation so before study let's write down this one the vertical displacement of a body of a ball is y equal to u sin theta into t minus half g t square how we got this equation i just explained now put this value y value 10 u value 20 into sin theta into t t how much second 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 so after 2 second minus half g g is how much 10 meter per second square t 2 so 2 square that is here okay so 10 into 20 into 2 40 sin theta minus 2 2 the cancels that is 20 right so square 4 4 divided by 2 that is 2 2 into 10 20 now take this 20 on the left side it becomes 30 okay 20 uh, 
are 10 plus 20. So this minus 20 goes to the left side and becomes plus and that is 10 plus 20 is equal to 40 sin theta. And therefore, so 10 plus 20, 30. 30 is equal to, uh, take this 40 on the left side and it becomes denominator. So 30 divided by 40 into, is equal to sin theta. So therefore sin theta is equal to, sin theta is equal to 3 divided by 4. So calculation of 3 divided by 4, that is 0 0.75. So how much? 0 0.75. So theta is equal to sin inverse of 0 0.75. Using log table we can calculate, but if you have scientific calculator, you can calculate directly or you can search from the Google value to find sign numbers. Okay, so I think it's a value I have calculated. I have mentioned somewhere I calculated this. Okay, okay. So answer is there in the question bank only that is 48 degree 35 minutes. So theta is equal to 48 degree and 35 minutes or fraction whatever you got okay so we got the angle of projection okay so one question is finished second question so the question says from the top of a building of height 200 meter a projectile is fired horizontally with velocity of 6 meter per second full stop Find the time taken to reach the ground. Full stop. Given g is equal to 10 meter per second square. Okay, let's write down first what they have given and what we have to use. <coughs> From the Top of the building of a height. So building height is given. H is equal to 200 meter. A projectile is fired horizontally with a velocity of 6 meter per second. So initial velocity u or v naught is equal to 6 meter per second. So you just can use u is fine. No <coughs> uh, Where it is? Okay. Fired with initial with velocity 6 meter per second. First of all, find the time taken to reach the ground. So time we have to find out. And g is equal to acceleration due to gravity is equal to 10 meter per second square. One second I am reminding you the g if it is given 9.8, take place 9.8. Do not make 10. If they haven't given 10, you have to you must use 9.8. Understood? G value. Okay, so what they have given, these values you have given and we have to find the time to reach the projectile to the ground. Okay, so this is a ground and this is a building and okay, this is a building from the top of this building, uh, what is the height of the building is 200 meter. So this is 200 meter, that is the height of the building. Okay, from this building a projectile is fired horizontally, horizontally. Means the projectile is not projected this way or this way or this way or this way. The projectile is projected along the horizon like this. And it goes like this and reaches the ground. So it is traveling from this place to this. So the direction of the velocity, initial velocity u is equal to 6 meter per second. Okay, the diagramming for this calculation is not necessary, it is not compulsory. But to understand the numerical, we must draw the diagram. A diagram does not carry any mass in numerical. Understood? For diagram in the numerical calculation, no mass are there. Okay, only the calculation. Writing the correct formula. Substituting the uh, values in the formula and calculation and result with unit. These four points carries the marks. Diagram does not carry here marks, any marks. Okay. 
I'm just using the diagram to explain you. Okay, illustrate whatever the situation. So this is the direction of velocity. The projectile goes to the ground and it hits the ground. Okay, so this is the particular height. We have this much information. So the given information. So what we have to find the time? To find time, we this is uh, these are the formulas for projectile height, range, and time of flight. So which formula we can use? None of them we can use. Why? Because the time is not the initial velocity is not zero. If it is initial velocity zero, we can use time of flight formula half of it. But the initial velocity is 6 meter per second. It is not zero, so we cannot use this. So which formula we can use it? So the same formula earlier we use s yes, is equal to u t plus half a t square. Okay. Now how we can use this formula? Because we have to find time. We have to find time. But if you lo look closely to this equation, so what it says, initial velocity into time. So initial velocity into time means what? Initial time. So initial time at this place is 0 second. When the projectile is projected, we start the stopwatch, the time is 0 second. So this is a zero. It becomes a zero. When it becomes zero, this equation becomes s is equal to half of a t square. Now rearrange this equation for time. So bring this two to the left side. It becomes two s is equal to a t square. Now bring this acceleration to the left side. It becomes two s divided by a is equal to t square. Now we have when uh, finding time. So remove the square t is equal to under root 2s divided by 2s divided by t. So we can find out how s is we know height vertical distance is going to travel. Ball the projectile is going to fall like this, but actual vertical distance traveling this much. So vertical distance we know acceleration due to gravity given. So we we just need to know height and the gravity. And we know height, gravity. Okay, <clears throat> let's find out what we get here. So t is equal to under root two into s is how much? Uh, s means particle distance. 200 divided by g. g is 10. So, <clears throat> so 0, 0 get cancels. So, remains what? 2 into 20. And the root 2 into 20. So, 2 into 20, 40. So square root of 40. Let's calculate square root of 40. Okay, okay. Okay, 6.30. So answer is 6.32. So time is equal to 6.32 seconds. So this is answer. So okay, let's let's drop on. So which equation we can use? The vertical displacement equation. The projectile travels vertical distance. Sorry, the earlier spelling was mistake. Distance, vertical distance or displacement is h is equal to maximum height is equal to or you can use yes only no problem okay yes or h h yes is equal to u t plus r a t square okay <coughs> vertical so initial time zero half acceleration is a positive that means plus g into t square 
So h is equal to half g t square. Realize this equation for time. You will get uh, 2h divided by g is equal to t square. Now substitute the value of all these terms. 2 into h value is 200 divided by g value is 10. So 0 0 get cancelled. So t square is equal to 40 and square root of this what we got 6.32 second. So this is answer. Okay, this is second way. Now let's move on for uh, next numerical. Read from your screen. Next one, Michael. The position of a particle is given by r bar is equal to given by a vector r bar is equal to 4t i cap plus 2t square j cap plus 2k cap meter, where t is in a second. Full stop. A. What is the velocity and acceleration of a particle? B. Calculate the magnitude and direction of velocity at a t is equal to 2 seconds. Okay. So, this is what we have to calculate. Okay. Once again, we are going to read the question from the screen. So, the question says A. The position of a particle is given by a vector r bar. So, r bar is a vector and its value is 4t i cap plus 2t square j cap plus 2k cap. It is an equation. So, this is an equation of a position. Or this, okay, position vector. Now, by using this position vector, what we have to find first? What is the velocity and acceleration of a particle? Okay, let's find out. So, the velocity vector of a particle is V bar is equal to D R bar of a D. Differentiation of a position vector with respect to time. So it is in a vector form, it is in a derivative form, we have practice. Yes, we know velocity formula is displacement divided by time. Change in displacement divided by time. So this is the change in displacement. That is what change in displacement. And that's what it is called position vector in a vector uh, graphical representation. So position vector, change in position divided by time. So this is what don't get confusion. Displacement is what? Change uh, the motion of a body one point to another point. First place to another place. With a particular direction. Right? Change in distance. Uh, sorry. Change in this, uh, uh, ch uh, change of a uh, change in position of a body in a particular direction. So there is a change in position. So this is the change in position. And that is what? Displacement. But this is in a derivative form, this is a general form. Both are meaning same. Okay. So dr by dt, that is displacement, uh, velocity. So put the value of dr, this equation. Now, what it is? 4 r value, 4 t. Okay, if you are getting confusion, we will write this equation. 4 t i cap plus 2 t square j cap plus 2k cap. Now what it is representing this equation represents this changes with respect to time. Now what we have to look in this equation the variable the value which is related to time. So this is not a uh, 4t i i j k those are unit vector those do not depend on anyone. So independent those are constant values. So just forget about it. Just keep as it is. Now, 
terms. We will split this term, Rx square. We will split this. So split as per the addition. So differentiation of, of this 4Ti cap with respect to time plus differentiation of this term 2T square j cap plus differentiation of this term with respect to time that is 2K cap. Now, so if you look here, the variable, look at here, 4 is a number, so it is not dependent on time. I, it is a unit vector, which is independent of any value. Its value is 1, fixed, it is not changing. Unit vector, 1 magnitude, so it is not changing. It's a value with respect to time. So these terms are also, what is the word T? T, T, yes. So this is... Uh, depend on time because it is time only. So differentiation of this take 4 and i outside 4 dt divided by dt into r. So differentiation of time and with respect to time this becomes 1. So 4 into 1 into r plus 2 constant t square divided by J cap constant unit vector plus here 2k both are constant time is present here no so there is no variable means there is there is no change so some like anything is not changing here so its value is constant 2 is a number which is constant k is unit vector whose magnitude does not change it is also constant so there is no change with respect to time. So the value, no change. I will explain. What do you mean by no change? For example, for example, uh, if you are bringing, if you, if you bought a pen for five rupees, five rupees, right? Five rupees. For example, X pen, X or Y company pen. So if after two year the same pen. If you bought again, and if there's a, and for after two years you bought the same pen with everything is same, but for six rupees. So by how much value the uh, the pen prices increase or decrease? By one rupees. So how could you find that six minus five? So how much it is changed by one value? Suppose if it is a fifty. Uh, 54 and if it is a um, if you got for 60 rupees now so 60 minus 54 by how much value it is changed by 6 value so what is this change but is any value changing here no for example if you bought a pen after 2 years also for 5 rupees with the same amount then what is the difference 5 minus 5 0 so is the value changing to constant k constant no value changing here so differentiation of constant term is 0 understood ok so this is 0 now plus differentiation ok once again I have written this part 4 as it is differentiation of this part Changed by one value, okay, into dt by dt, one, i as it is, unit vector, plus two. Now, differentiation of this value, okay, j keep as it is, keep as it is, into, now, about this one. So, the value is changing, this is power two. In a different session, the power is de decreased by 1 and the old power is multiplied. So what I am talking here, so this 2 is taken here. So differentiation of this term with respect to time. Before differentiation, before changing, its value is this. Before changing, its value is this. After changing, in a different session, the power is taken. Front, T. 2 minus 1. 1 is compulsory deducted. 1 is compulsory differentiated. So this is a rule of a differentiation. 
and integration. In integration, different rule, and in differentiation, there are rules. So you will come to understand about the differentiation and integration in the second year mathematics. But for now, use this only simple differentiation. So by how much value this degrees? The old power is taken from multiplied with this in minus the power is decreased by 1. So this becomes 2t1. 2t1. Now multiplication of this 4 into 1 into r 4r four plus 2 into 2 4 into t 4t into j. So this is a value of t. So we got just what? Velocity. Now we have to find acceleration. Now acceleration is what? Change in velocity with respect to time. So a bar is equal to v dv by dt. So but acceleration formula is a change in velocity with time or, uh, or or what? Acceleration is equal to v minus u divided by t. So what is v minus u? So u is the initial velocity, v is the final velocity. So final minus initial, what it gives? Change. And that's what we are finding. Look at here, change in displacement. Sorry, change in position, that is a displacement. Change in velocity with respect to time, that is acceleration. And that is it. So dv is a change. Okay. Now put the value of this velocity in this equation like this. So what it is? Differentiation of this velocity that is 4i plus 4tj with respect to time. Now look at here. Is any term related to time? No. So this becomes, this means this is a constant term. So differentiation of constant is a zero. Earlier we saw here. Same. Differentiation of this term, zero. Plus differentiation of 4 into t into i. 4 into t into r, there is a j. What it is? 4j. So this differentiation becomes 0 and this becomes 4j. So this is acceleration. So acceleration of the body is 4j. So our A part is completed. Now what B part is? Calculate the magnitude and direction of velocity vector. Sorry, velocity at a 2 second. So at a 2 second we have found its velocity and its direction. Uh, magnitude of velocity and direction. So we finished half part. No, half part. So we must remember this equation. So I will write here. So B section. The magnitude of of velocity. So what is that velocity? V bar is equal to 4i plus 4tj. So we have to find magnitude. To find magnitude, what we do? We just Square the coefficient. So square under the square root 4 square plus 4 into t is a square. But what is the t value? They have said at what second? At 2 second. t is equal to 2 second. So 4 square 16 plus 4 into 2. So what it is? 16 plus 4 into 2, 8. 8 square, 64. 16 plus 64, I think it's uh, 80. Under root, 80. So velocity is equal to square root of 80. That is 8.94. That is 8.94 meter per second. So we got the velocity magnitude. Now we have to find direction. I already explained how to find direction of a single vector. Okay? Single vector. 
how we explain its components by using its components we can find x component and y component so how let's tan theta is equal to magnitude of y component and magnitude of x component so what is the magnitude of y component it is here 4t divided by magnitude of x component that is 4 so 4 4 get cancels so tan of theta is equal to t and t values how much t values how uh, take this tan here it becomes tan inverse and t value is how much 2 second so 2 so theta is equal to I think I have calculated tan theta value
divided by g. So 2 into v is 4d sin 30 divided by 10. So 4. Or you just can say. So t is equal to 2 into 4 into sin 30 is 1 by 2. 2 to get cancelled. So time of flight is 4 seconds. So t is equal to 4 seconds. Now range capital R is equal to V naught square sin 2 theta divided by G. So V naught square, V naught is 40 and it's a square sin 2 into 30. Theta value is 30 divided by 10. So 1600 into sin 60 divided by 10 so which is the cancel 160 into sin 60 is root 3 by 2 so AP so R is equal to AP root 3 you can calculate root 3 value and you can substitute its value ok so this is another numerical and here we can say the numerical part of this topic is completed and uh, if I ask there are a lot of numericals are present even that here I haven't taken all of them if you have if you try at home these numericals if you don't get answers you can uh, contact me so I will solve it so <coughs> in next class I will start the next topic whatever I have got for thank you for today's session stay home stay safe